Hi, welcome to At Home with Madeline Lee. Today I'm going to go through the steps. I put a picture up and loads of people ask me how did I do this. When we first came to the house in France, one of the things I fell in love with was a sweeping staircase that goes right up to the attic. So here we have seen the banister, beautiful iron here, and this wonderful globe here as well. This was here when we got here, but it's such an easy idea if you get something like that to put it on the end of your banister, absolutely lovely. Um, it was just plain wood on the steps and I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So what I did is got a load of carvings and as you can see I've stuck them here and then I've dry brush the wood just to give it more texture and I've done it running all the way up to the top and I thought I'd show you, I left some steps so I could show you how I did it because quite a few were asking. And so if you want to follow me I'm going to take you up there. So first of all you need your tin of paint. Oh, actually this tin of paint has got the picture of our old apartment on it from Brighton funnily enough because we work with Lakeland Paints and you can get, this is Swedish white and you can actually get this from Lakelands, um, this colour which is beautiful and we used it in, particularly when we were living by the sea, we used it to reflect all the beautiful greys and blues from the sea and now we live in the forest, we still use it. It's and I've got my very old brush, this is my dry brushing brush, which is really looking a bit sad, but it's good for dry brushing. This is the carving we'll be using. Normally I like to source old original pieces, but if you're going to be repeating them over and over again on steps or anything like that, you do need to get something that you can buy in bulk. So this is the carving we're going to stick on and paint white. Uh, need some good glue, we use Gorilla wood glue which is very good and some tape to glue the carving on just to make sure it stays in the same place. So what we're going to start with, I've already dry brushed all these steps but I'm going to show you dry brushing just on this step to start with. Right, so I'm going to take some tissue and I'm not even stirring the paint, I'm just taking the top bit here and just dabbing it on top and then I just just brush it, dab it down onto the tissue, so it's just a very light amount on there. And it's a feel thing really, because you don't want to have any harsh ends or lines. So what I do then is sometimes I just tap a little bit and just twirl it round and just feel it. And just, so it all feels like it's going into the grain of the wood. I've actually pressed very hard. Uh, and that's why the brush looks like this. <laughs> so don't use a brush that you love. So I'm just dry brushing my carving before it goes on, just to give you the idea. I'll most lightly put them all up and then dry brush them when they're on, but I just want to show you a little bit more again on dry brushing. So <clears throat> we're gonna put the glue on and we're gonna stick it like this. So you just twirl the glue around the carving twirling it around so it touches all the corners, like so. So I've got this, just check you haven't missed any areas. Oh that's Ginger Man, that's our cockerel. Yes, I'm coming! He's most likely got a couple of eggs for me. Okay, so here we are. And now you get your tape and uh, you just want to have about this length. Um, maybe have them all just prepared up here and it's in the middle so that looks about good to me and then press it on and get your tape and just stay, make sure it stays on get that right at the end and so where we are I think leave it just for a day just let it really settle and do each of the steps and then come back and dry brush so that's goodbye from me and goodbye from my darling Lily running down the steps. Hello. Hello. <laughs>